being undocumented, I kind of feel different. Like for example, my friend is going to Brazil for two weeks and I'm just like, damn, I can't do that because I can't get back in, you know? Or like, um, I can't go to see my family in Mexico because I can't come back and my life is here. Like I was raised in Oakland, but I wasn't born here, but this is like my second home. I feel like it does put me in a different position from people that are documented. And it's not something kind of depressing, but it is like, it does get to me. But to me, it feels like I live without any privilege because I feel that, you know, I don't have the same rights as regular people because I can't vote. I can't get a good job because of my uh, citizenship status. And, you know, it's, you know, there's a lot of racism against undocumented people because of their uh, citizenship status. Um, being undocumented um, feels like shit sometimes. I can't benefit from the, like certain things that others can. So I gotta put more, like for me, my biggest goal is to go to college after I graduate from high school. And I gotta work extra harder than anyone else, you know, to in order to get accepted and to get scholarships and you know to benefit from those things i don't know that's that's a complicated question it sucks to have to go through so many barriers just to like achieve second educa like secondary education it sucks that you can't travel and go see your loved ones uh, you know across the border it's painful to see your parents uh, cry because they were not able to say their last goodbyes to their now deceased parents um, but as, it's also resiliency it's also hope in, in thinking and in, and in wanting to believe that there's going to be a better tomorrow for undocumented folks out in the United States. It's just a combination of like different feelings, but at the same time, um, it's also what keeps me rooted in, in what I do, in the work that I carry out in Oakland, that I carry out abroad, you know? My biggest fear for ICE to come to my house and, you know, take one of my family members or me and you know, since my, my brother and my sister are documented, like what is, what's gonna happen to them, you know, where are they gonna go? But when I entered my 67, they taught me what to do. Like if I were to come to my house, what to ask and what to do and what not to do. And if they do take someone from my family or myself, they know who to call. My biggest fear for me is like, I've spent so many years here. I made so many friendships and I've done so much. And in the blink of an eye, it can all be taken away. And you know, that's something they have to live with. I know that, you know, like, if something is to happen and I'm deported, then like, you know, I, I won't, it's it's like I never existed here because I, you know, I won't physically be here anymore. The biggest fear of being undocumented is getting deported and leaving my little brother here. My little brother was the only one that was born here. So, you know, he's a US citizen. And so that's the biggest fear we have, like getting deported and leaving him behind, you know, and and I would never imagine, you know, my life being being away from him, like many miles away from him, like that, like, no, I can never do that. My biggest fear being undocumented is, is losing one of my loved ones, like my parents or my grandparents and not being able to go and see them because I don't have those papers to travel back and forth. Um, and that's my biggest fear to, to not be able to see somebody ever again because of this border that we have that separates us. No human being is illegal.